Hey, what's up? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So, Jay-Z once broke up a fight between Drake and Diddy, according to Kanye West. The Chicago rap mogul recalled the incident, which he said took place at his Yeezy Season 1 fashion show in New York City in February 2015, during an appearance on the Lex Fridman Podcast on Monday, October 24th. While reflecting on the star-studded names who attended the show, Ye casually revealed how Hov was forced to play Peacemaker when tensions between the OVO hitmaker and Bad Boy Boss boiled over backstage. And this fashion show was so popular that Justin Bieber had to sit in the second row, right? This thing had every name you could think of. It had Kim Kardashian, Kris Jenner, Kendall Jenner. It was Kylie's first fashion show she'd been in. You had Jay-Z in the audience, Rihanna in the audience, um, Beyonce in the audience, sitting next to Anna Winter in this audience. You had Puff Daddy. At that time, Puff Daddy... uh, had beef with Drake. Drake still came to the show and Jay-Z had to break up the fight backstage. While news of Drake and Diddy fighting at Kanye West's Yeezy season one show was previously unknown, the pair's rocky relationship has been well documented. In December 2014, Drizzy and Puff reportedly got into a physical altercation at DJ Khaled's birthday party in Miami, resulting in the Toronto rapper allegedly being hospitalized with an injured shoulder. The feud stemmed from a major dispute over the song Zero to 100, The Catch Up, which his producer, Boy Wanda, had given to both Drake and Diddy months earlier. We're told Diddy sat on the song, which frustrated Drake because he wanted to record it, TMZ reported at the time. So recently, Drake recorded the song on his own and it did well, which pissed Diddy off. Diddy is said to have confronted Drake during Khaled's birthday bash at Club Live and told him, you'll never disrespect me again before punching him. The pair eventually buried the hatchet over the phone in May 2015, three months after Kanye West's Yeezy season one show. Puff addressed his spat with Drake on The Breakfast Club later that year, claiming reports of their beef were overblown and confirming he originally sent Drizzy the 0 to 100 beef for him to go Right. Zero to 100 was initially a record that, um, you know, was my record. And then, you know, there, somehow that became, you know, just a, a misunderstanding because we was working with the same producers. Honestly, it was a misunderstanding. Honestly, um, Drake is actually my favorite rapper. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, as far as a lot of, as far as songwriting and albums, it's been like that for a couple of years. I did not put hands on Drake. Oh. And I do not want any problems with Drake. Drake is, right now, <laughs> that's all I got. That's all I, I have to say. He's putting in his work. I didn't put. I didn't do nothing to Drake. We not. Drake is my friend. The following year, the pair cemented their friendship when Diddy accepted Drake's Best Hip Hop Video Award for Hotline Bling at the 2016 MTV VMAs on his behalf after the rapper got stuck in traffic. Check this out. Hey yo, hey yo, Drake is stuck in traffic, so I'm gonna take this mo of me all the way back to the crib. Yo, Drake, come get this. Yeah. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.